King made two changes to the side that drew with champions Brighton last Saturday. Youngster Nathan Edwards was making his full debut in the centre of midfield and Paul Makarivi replaced the injured Adam Willis. Wickham boss Laurie Sanchez recalled Richard Harris to the starting 11 after he'd missed the last three games with a hamstring injury. Danny Bullman replaced the injured Steve Brown. Your commentator at the county ground is Phil Duffel. Howell on uh, Swindon's Eric Saban delivers the free kick. That's the signal for all the defenders just about to go forward. Reeves, Haywood and Gurney, certainly all three centre-backs in the new system Swindon are playing again today. Comes to Young, didn't hit it cleanly and the attempted header from Gurney wouldn't have counted anyway because I think the flag was up for offside on the far side. Divine. There's Bullman on ahead of him, but that's a poor ball. That's much better though from Swindon. Hewlett finds Duke. Young coming to the near post, Saban going far, this is Alan Young! Good block by the defender, I think it was Andy Thompson who just got to him and diverted the ball behind for a corner kick. That was a nice move by Swindon, arguably the best of the game so far. All the way through, this is a real chance for Curry. wow, best opening of the game so far. And frankly, a moment he'll want to forget. Duke with the header forward. Hayward's up there, it breaks for Saban. Swindon couldn't get their nose in front, but Taylor ensures they don't. Saban once more. Well, he has looked good at times for Swindon, the Frenchman, but his goal-scoring record, I'm afraid, is simply not good enough. somehow contrived to get it up and over the crossbar when it seemed easier to just nudge it over the line. And while Wickham uh, have not carried a great threat, they've certainly had a couple of clear-cut chances where they should have at least hit the target. Divine now for Wickham. Far side is Curry. Bullman's making his way into the middle at speed. And Edwards prevented the ball coming across early. Good defensive work. Vinicom now does hit it in, and Wickham have a man over. It's divine. It's 1 0 to Wickham Wanderers, and the visitors strike right on half time, and Swindon's defence simply switched off. Well, they had a man over, and they made the most of it. Gurney firing it towards Hayward, good touch on by him, Saban denied by Taylor, acrobatically so. Young back to Gurney. Duke. Oh, that was uh, clumsy from McCarthy. He's right in front of the linesman. Makarivi to take the resulting free kick. Saban closes for Swindon. McCarthy who got it away. Corner kick. Hayward Tedder! One all. Simple as you like. And Swindon's player of the year. He scooped all the trophies in the awards before the match. Has now got himself a goal to go with them as well picked out on the near post with the corner kick and the glancing header beyond Taylor levels it all up 1-1 Hayward uh, dallied and here's to
Devine. Should have been in for his second of the game. Just took his eye off the ball as he was trying to go around the goalkeeper and ended up making a real hash of it. Young. Uh, Saban, the Frenchman's touch was a little heavy. Swindon though retained possession. Gurney to Duke. Edwards tries the curler. That's not a bad effort at all. Just cleared the crossbar by a matter of inches. Paul Edwards. That's a decent left foot on him. Hewlett. Is Gurney available? He's already shown he can strike a mean ball, and again he tests Taylor. Saban back. Gurney once more. Well, he's pretty keen to be uh, Swindon's top scorer this season, Andy Gurney. Seven he has already. Eight would get him to the top of the charts, and denied only by the acrobatics of Taylor. I think after after last season, the, the struggles, it's been quite a you know sort of a, a comfortable season. Um, still been a lot of turmoil, but I think you know we've we've done well. And as for the you know the day for me, I think I'm going to put the, the lottery numbers on tonight because I don't think everything's gone right for me. You know, I've got man of the match, four awards, and scored the goal. So you know, it's uh, it's been a good day for me personally. So a point meant a creditable 13th place for Swindon Town this season. Bournemouth and Bury will join the bottom two in Division 3 next season after Notts County beat Huddersfield yesterday. Lou Macari's side now meet Brentford in the playoffs with Cardiff taking on Stoke. That was after Jamie Curriton's late goal secured the point Reading needed to go up automatically. City finished in.